Hello everyone, guess what the Santa brought? It's the Lunatico AAG Skywatcher with the solo companion computer. This computer has a built-in web server. Uh, it's actually a Raspberry Pi computer which I can access within or from the outside of my network from anywhere in the world. So I can watch the cloud temperature um, the wind speed, the if it's raining or not, um, if it's uh, how bright it is outside, and of of course, yeah, the cloud temperature. So um, I went to the rabbit hole or the black hole or what you want to call it of uh, buying new gear. Okay, so we're back in my uh, garden here, uh, cloudy, grey, December, uh, doesn't seem to be clearing up anytime soon, quite bored of it, but uh, I have managed to mount the AAG Cloud Watcher, um, I might be having the most uh, accessorized weather station in the world right now, I have my cat helping me, hi Cosmos. It's my Astro Cat number two. So um, let's head out into the observatory computer and uh, have a look at how this thing works. Okay, so we have connected to the um, AAG CloudWatcher Solo, the companion computer. The Solo outputs a web page which you can reach uh, all over the world if you set it up correctly. What it does, it uh, fetches the sensor data from the AAG CloudWatcher uh, outdoor unit. Um, here we have a quick summary of all the sensors. It's the temperature sensor, uh, the cloud, the, uh, the IR based cloud sensor. Uh, we have the window sensor, the rain sensor, brightness sensor and if the switch is open or closed. Um, this can be connected to a relay to trigger um, observatory roof or dome controllers. Right now the status is unsafe because of uh, we have a, a grey cloudy day and it's raining outside and I am recording this during the day. If it were safe this entire box would be green um, I will go through the basics and we will toggle off all the alternatives for the uh, diagram section. Uh, first of all we have the sky temperature, this is the IR uh, sensor which measures the cloud temperature. We have uh, wind speed, we have temperature, uh, we have the rain sensor and the brightness sensor. Um, these lines are uh, yesterday's data so you can compare. And you see here it was a calm day uh, yesterday. We have the temperature. Uh, it was a bit cold during the evening yesterday. No rain um, and the brightness is uh, quite similar what it is today. Um, then we can um, uh, toggle um, this switch um, which uh, shows the limits I have set up. Um, what you can see here is the green zone, which uh, I have defined as minus 18 degrees Celsius. Um, if it is minus 18 or colder, um, or the differential, uh, it outputs the state as uh, clear. Between minus 5 and minus 18 degrees, it's cloudy, and below that, uh, it's uh, overcast, as it uh, is right now. Same for the wind speed, um, the temperature is what it is, and you can set up the rain sensor as well, as well as the brightness. Um, um, but this does not define um, how the solo outputs a safe or unsafe condition. Um, what 
this is uh, has to be done is set the limit so uh, this is um, somewhat misleading but the red dotted line is the actual value where it triggers a unsafe condition so minus 12 degrees or less in the differential temperature it is uh, trigger unsafe um, for a wind speed over 25 kilometers per uh, hour I really want to see Lunatico um, implement uh, meters per second um, in wind speed rather than kilometers per hour um, the same for the rain sensor um, so um, it's quite handy uh, I really like the layout uh, easy simple and this is how the setup page looks like um, the status limit is the green yellow and red zones and um, this has nothing to do when it triggers a safe or unsafe condition but this does the switch and the limit section here is where you define when it's supposed to trigger a safe or unsafe factor um, this requires a bit of reading um, because um, this has to do with uh, how it uh, uh, regulates the uh, cloud measurements uh, the cloud temperature measurements these factors are not easy to adjust um, uh, but once you have done a bit of reading you might try to change this one you can also add a ambient temperature offset um, and this is if you read the outside ambient uh, temperature with the IR sensor or with a relative humidity sensor which is an add-on which I don't have after you have done your settings you just uh, push save um, you can also change uh, network settings and other stuff in a different view um, so um, let's see how uh, uh, it looks in the observatory computer um, basically um, this is a remote uh, operation we fetch the sensor data from a network uh, drive the AAG solo outputs a, uh, a map where you can fetch the uh, data this is being read from the program and um, this is uh, also uh, sent uh, further via a ASCOM driver uh, to my sequence program where I now have activated the ASCOM safety monitor and right now it says uh, close uh, because it's uh, overcast and raining um, I really enjoy this product uh, as I now have been using it for almost a week and the measurement seems reliable um, I have adjusted the um, the coefficients uh, and uh, the temperatures uh, just a little bit uh, to see how it works I have also adjusted the uh, switch limits and also the green yellow and red zones to correspond with uh, how I uh, see the weather outside or, or what I want to to highlight so this is basically how it uh, is working um, if you don't have the solo computer you are installing the same software but in a master uh, state this is the remote which fetches the data the master is um, connected uh, directly with a RS-232 uh, adapter to the CloudWatch uh, uh, sensor unit